The next gen dev platform is coming soon. These are the required steps to migrate your organization from the partner dashboard. If your apps don't have extensions, the migration is fully automatic and no action is needed. If you do have extensions, installations remain unaffected, but you'll need to follow these instructions to keep building and updating your app. Let's walk through an example. Here's an app that requires all these steps. First, let's update to the latest Shopify CLI. Next, I'm going to run Shopify app import extensions to bring in my dashboard managed extensions. Since this app wasn't using CLI managed app configuration, let's link our app config. I'll run Shopify app config link and choose my app to sync my dashboard managed configuration. Let's look at the changes in my app toml. These are values I had set via my dashboard. Going forward, we recommend managing all config changes via app toml and Shopify app deploy. Before our next step, let's talk about extension user identifiers. Previously, when you ran Shopify app deploy, Shopify would match your local extensions to their record on Shopify with an ID in your .env file. Because these IDs are global, they were different for each instance of your app, and you had to maintain a file for each environment. The next-gen dev platform replaces these with a UID in the extension toml. The idea is app scope, so it can be the same for each instance of your app, and you don't need to maintain per-environment files anymore. The first time you deploy after migrating, our platform will generate these IDs for you on all your extensions. You can commit these to source control and use them to deploy additional instances of your app. Let's run a deploy on the development instance of my app. You can see that a forced deploy, like you might use in automation, is going to fail for now. This first deploy post-migration needs to be interactive. When I run an interactive deploy, we can see the expected changes. No changes to my config because I've synced it to my app. I'm replacing my dashboard managed extension with a CLI managed extension. And my other extensions show as updated with their new UID values. Now I will commit these changes to source control and apply them to the production copy of my app. Now if you see an extension that's new and removed instead of updated, and something went wrong in mapping it to Shopify. Check that the extension handle hasn't changed since your last deploy and change it back or update the appropriate .env file. That's it. Now you can take advantage of all the new features in the next-gen dev platform.